So recently, I uploaded two videos, part one and two, of all my credit cards. And if you haven't watched those, you can check them out. I put the link in the description. But for those of you who have, and it's a spoiler alert, I have 15 credit cards. And the question you might be having is, how do I organize it? How do I make sure I make all my payments on time? Because I have 15 cards to manage. And since I've been rebuilding my credit after my foreclosure, I have not missed one payment. Okay, so I know this is a shorter video, but I can still ask. If you like this video today, please hit the like button and consider subscribing because I will not only give you these short little tips like I did in this video, I also review different credit cards and I help people build their credit scores fast and higher. One of the biggest struggles I've had in my life is, has been organization. And I know that I'm not alone. So I have done different things to help me organize. And I did a video last year on this notebook that I was using. And that's actually pretty helpful. So if you like to actually have a physical book to organize, this one's great. It has 12 sections, 12 pockets, and a little area where you can record all the bills that you have, credit cards, utilities, all of that. And if you're interested in seeing a closer look, I've left a link in the description. I use the Reminders app, and that has made all the difference in organizing my credit card bills. I'm going to show you right now on how I do it and how easy it is and simple. I'm going to add a list. I'm picking iCloud so everything is synced. So that's a great thing. All your Apple products will be synced. So this list will be not only on your smartphone, but any other Apple devices you might own. So I'm going to start with the top icon. I'm going to pick green for money and the little credit card symbol and I'm going to call this credit card payments. So we have nothing in there right now. So I'm going to add reminders. So here's enough credit card to remember the payments on. Let me show you on my actual list. So as you can see today is the 14th, the day I uploaded this video. I still haven't made my Best Buy payment, but after I hit publish on this video, I will be going out to Best Buy to make that payment and uh, that will be checked off. But you can see I keep everything visible. Um, it's just a sense that I can see everything that I had going on and that I completed it. I also like to keep it this way because I feel a sense of accomplishment seeing that all these, all these payments have been checked off and they are done. But if you want to have them completely removed, every time you check things, you can just go to hide completed and you'll see then those bills that you have paid already appeared but when you start a new month you're going to want to go to the settings and put show completed everything appears again and then you want to uncheck the bills and then you can see you start from the top again second city double cash and so when I make that payment, I just check that off. And as you know, I have made all these payments. So I am right here at this point. And that's how I do it. It's really simple and easy.
and I never have a worry, I missed a payment. I'm not stressing out like, did I pay this? Did I pay this? Because I, I know I paid it. And if I'm not sure, I can look. So this is for all of you who are rebuilding your credit. You want to make sure that all of your payments are on time and this can really help you. So if you can make your life a little easier, a little simpler with paying bills, you can uh, try this method and hopefully it works out for you. Let me know in the comments if this has helped you at all and um, I'll see you next time.